The History of the September 30, 1965 Movement in Indonesia by the Indonesian Communist Party The PKI attempted to carry out a coup against the government of President Sikarno in 1965. General Suharto emerged as the figure who most benefited from this movement. September 30th Movement, group of Indonesian military personnel who captured and murdered six generals in 1965, marking the commencement of the abortive coup that led to the fall from power of Sukarno, Indonesia's first president. Late in the evening on September 30th, 1965, a group of army conspirators calling itself the September 30th Movement gathered in Jakarta with the aim of kidnapping and killing seven army generals in the early hours of the following morning. By dawn on October 1, six of the generals were dead, the seventh, Abdul Nasushan, had escaped. Later that morning the movement announced that it had seized power to forestall a coup against the president by a council of generals. In the meantime, General Suharto, commander of the army's strategic reserve, began to gather the reins of power into his own hands. By evening he had seized the initiative from the conspirators. The Indonesian Communist Party maintained that the coup attempt was an internal affair of the army. The army leadership, on the contrary, insisted that it was part of a PKI plot to seize power and subsequently embarked on a mission to purge the country of the perceived communist threat. In the following month the military slaughtered communists and alleged communists across Java and in Bali. Estimates of the number of people killed range from 80,000 to more than 1 million. In the following years communists, alleged communists, and their families were frequently denied basic rights. Between 1969 and 1980, approximately 10,000 persons, primarily known or purported communists, were detained without trial on the island of Daru in the Malaccas. History of the September 30, 1965 Movement of the Indonesian Communist Party 